Okay, so I decided to do something a bit different. So I'm gonna show you guys all the spots and uh, tricks I know for every map. We're gonna start off in, with Numbani. So if you're attacking, you've probably seen me do this a lot of times, but yeah, I'm gonna show it anyways. If you're attacking, you can uh, go up here and stand here. You should like wall climb and then just keep running forward midair and crouch at the same time. So then you're running against the sign here, like this. And then you're gonna gonna land on the place, and uh, then while you're still crouching, if you wanna strafe to the right to peek this place, you you only wanna press the W key to run forward. Maybe even load up your bow, so you're crouched, your bow is loaded, so you move extremely slow, and then you just hold forward key, and you're gonna keep moving to the right slowly and then you can pick like this it's good to like they might have an Anna at this spot here or someone might be there or if they're dumb enough they might have someone just standing over there you can get all the way to here if you're careful to even pick someone who's down here but then you're extremely exposed but yeah the reason why you should crouch and stuff is because, you see, it's really easy to fall down from this spot. And if you just try to strafe to the right instead of running against the wall, you're probably gonna, like, fall off, especially if you're not crouched or the bow is not loaded. So, when defending, the way I usually do it is uh, I stand here. Or I crouch, I try to go as far back as possible. There, sometimes it's really annoying and you like suddenly boost upward. So there's like the sweet spot where you're just low enough that you can headshot someone running in a straight line. See that which is unseen. Usually there's someone who's gonna be hugging this bus instead. I don't know why people like to rub their face in the side of this bus so you might want to try this angle as well to get a headshot and then there's one extremely high iq tip it it rarely works it works for only one shot as well and if you're really careful you can land on top of this thing here Ooh. and then you can do one perfect jump shot and headshot someone straight from the spawn pretty much but it's gonna the moment you jump it's gonna break this thing here so it's uh it's uh it's one of those unnecessary swag moves it's if you do that trick then you probably won't have time to set up for this spot here which lets you get a lot of shots in like sometimes i i get like a couple picks and uh, I just spam their tanks. I'm at like 70% alt charge. I back up up here. Then they start running to this position and I fill up the rest of my alt before they even get to do anything. And then uh, I can just dragon them when they go into the high ground here. In the free kills. Although since Batiste was introduced into the game, he ruins all the fun of course. So if they have a Batiste that won't do anything at all. Here's a swag flank spot. Like, uh, let's... Oh, uh, let's say that you... You lose a point when you're defending. You... Like, you, you die once, you're coming back. Trying to get some shots in. And they're behind this wall here. Just capping the point. You could... Uh, instead of backing up... You could go here. And maybe even do some meditation. And that, that way you can see a bit about what they're doing. And then you can just wait them for to wait them push a bit. And go for like a 6k from behind. They they might even have someone AFKing on the payload. Emoting, you know. And uh yeah. You could maybe get the payload pick here and then just run back fast. 
before anyone realizes. Okay, here's a. Uh, it's this is also pretty much a swag spot. You could make something happen. Like sometimes when I'm defending, I I like to go all the way around and shoot them when they're coming out of the spawn. Like I usually do this after we team kill them. So while they're regrouping and we have pushed forward, they will usually stand here and in here maybe even on the high ground so then i can easily get a pick here and then they might start chasing me so then i will run down here and go up here also this is for the noobs out there like so a lot of people don't realize you can wall climb up from here so it's just a small tip also, another pretty good hiding spot that I sometimes use is wall climbing up here and then just like crouching, running against the wall using the same trick that I used when I'm on top of the sign in the first uh, first tip that I showed. And then it's like keep running against this wall, try to just get into the corner. So this way no one can see you from the low ground or if someone comes to the high ground they won't have any idea that you are hiding in this corner here. Also, one, one sideline that I see people missing is this one here. People are coming back from spawn, you could put a sonic event there. And they will always run in a straight line because they want to get back into the fight fast. Especially if uh, the enemy team is kind of pushed in. Like, let's say they are here. You could get a bit greedy and just overextend, but instead of trying to get pick from them, you can just get a clean headshot from here, from someone that's coming back from spawn, and they will just be mind blown. Like, how, how can the Hanzo push so deep? Oh, I, I forgot to say... Uh, when you're capping this point, you should always just run here really fast. And the enemy team will run out of this spawn, like they're respawning. You get a team wipe, you're capping the point. They will all spawn and run out from this this door at the same time, giving you free headshots. It's at least gonna be a free ultimate if you do it right. And then you can still keep shooting them all the way to there. And then you could even continue overextending. Like if, especially if you get a couple of picks, you can play extremely greedy here. Just go maybe for even a trade, because you're gonna get back from spawn way faster. Also, here's a spot that for some reason, I've only seen hackers use this spot with Widow. They will just climb on top of this tree here. Like, it's not really a useful, it's more of a swag spot once again. But <laughs> it's still a pretty cool spot. Also, one mistake that I see Hanzo's doing when they try to contest this high ground here is they try to wall climb up from this side. But if you don't do it perfectly, it's it's not gonna work like you're gonna slide off the wall and don't do anything so you should always just wall climb from this side of the door and then just keep holding space in case you don't climb high enough because then you can just grab the ledge like you, if you get a bit unlucky you will still grab the ledge the reason why you want to hold space is if you let go of space and then try to press space again to grab the ledge. You're gonna you're you're gonna use lunch. Your lunch is gonna go on, go on cooldown, which might uh, completely fuck you up when you try to run away. Like let's say you climb back, you climb up here to contest someone. Your your lunch is on cooldown. There's a hog running after you, so then you can't lunch backwards to dodge the sh dodge dodge the hook. Also, here 
when I'm running away or even when I'm attacking, this spot has saved me so many times. Like, it's not even technically a spot. I'm just climbing up the wall, but like, you climb on top of the leaves and it makes it really hard for the enemy team to see where you're going. So you could just climb up, ninja style, and then go behind the wall and they have no idea what, where you went. Also, here's another flanking spot. You could even go for the meditation here to see behind them. Or see around you, uh, like, what's happening. The, this spot is pretty much only useful if, if you somehow can rush behind the enemy team. After you wipe them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts about this type of content in the comment section below. I'm really interested to know what you guys thought about this video. But uh, nevertheless, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.